Chapter 9 Absorption Costing and Marginal Costing Second part of the chapter 9, we are going to look into 9.2 and 9.3. 9.2 Comparison between Absorption and Marginal Costing and 9.3 Determine the Cost of the Product. Absorption and Marginal Costing Difference is based on the product costing, inventory valuation, and the third one, income statement. We look into the first difference is the product costing. Product costing and the absorption costing is based calculated on direct material cost per unit, direct labor cost per unit, variable factory overhead cost per unit. The three items in here is referred as a variable manufacturing overhead and plus with the fixed factory overhead cost per unit as a fixed manufacturing overhead. Therefore, there is a total product cost per unit under absorption costing. Under marginal costing, Direct material cost per unit, direct level cost per unit, and variable factory overhead cost per unit as the total product cost per unit, meaning that only variable manufacturing overhead been considered as the total product cost. We look into the example one. Premium Product Corporation Manufacturer a polyurethane sealant called Fix It for a car windshields. Relevant data for the Fix It in January 2015, the first month production, are as follow: Selling price two ringgit per unit. Unit produced thirty thousand, sold twenty thousand. Beginning inventory zero. Variable unit cost. Manufacturing 9 ringgit, direct material 5 ringgit, direct level 3 ringgit, variable overhead RM 1 ringgit, while selling and administrative expenses 2 ringgit. Fixed cost, manufacturing overhead 120,000, while selling and administrative expenses 15,000. To calculate the product costing and the absorption costing, you can see direct material cost per unit 5 ringgit, direct labor cost per unit 3 ringgit, variable factory overhead cost per unit 1 ringgit, and fixed factory overhead cost per unit 4 ringgit, and total product cost per unit is 13 ringgit. And how do you get the fixed factory overhead cost per unit? Is fix a manufacturing overhead divide by unit produce. Meaning that 120,000 divide 30,000 unit produce. Under marginal costing, you only have to calculate direct material cost per unit, 5 ringgit. Level cost per unit three ringgit and variable factory of it cost per unit one ringgit. There will be the total product cost per unit under marginal costing. We look into the second difference is in terms of inventory valuation under absorption costing and marginal costing. The differences between two is based on a Fixed manufacturing overhead where under absorption costing is being included as a product cost and under marginal costing is not being included under the product cost and it be called as a period cost or as a expenses. And under absorption costing, the costs are inventory. The third difference is based on the income statement. As you look in here, based on the absorption costing, the income statement will be the sale, 
less cost of goods sold, you will get gross profit and minus selling and administrative and you will get a net profit. Income statement under marginal costing is sale minus variable cost, which include variable cost of goods sold plus variable selling and admin expenses. They will get the total of variable cost. Sales minus total variable cost, there will be product contribution margin and less fixed cost which is fixed factory overhead and fixed selling and admin expenses you will get the total fixed cost so the product contribution margin less total fixed cost you derive to the net profit Okay, let's look into the example income statement. Sarajas so Nambrahan SSP stated its business in 2014. The following information was available for December 2014. They have a beginning inventory, zero. Unit sold, 10,000. Unit produce, 12,000. And selling price per unit, 30 ringgit. Variable factory cost per unit, direct material, 6 ringgit, direct level, 4 ringgit, overhead, 2 ringgit. Variable selling and administration cost per unit, 2 ringgit and 50 cent. Fixed factory cost a year, 72,000. And fixed selling and administration cost a year, 36,000. You are required to prepare absorption and marginal income statement for the month and the 31st December 2014. First step, compute the unit product. We look into the absorption costing. To calculate the unit product, direct material per unit, 6 ringgit, direct level per unit, 4 ringgit, variable factory overhead per unit, 2 ringgit, and fixed factory overhead per unit, where to get the fixed factory overhead per unit is total fixed factory overhead divided by unit produce, which is 6,000 divided by 12,000 unit produce. Therefore, the fixed factory overhead per unit is 50 cents. So the total unit cost for absorption costing is 12 ringgit and 50 cents. For marginal costing, what do you have? You have direct material six ringgit, direct level per unit four ringgit, variable factory of it per unit two ringgit, and the total cost for the marginal costing is twelve ringgit. Second step: prepare income statement. We look into the absorption costing. Okay, first of all, you have to write the title, Soroja Senior Merahan, Income Statement Absorption Costing for the month ended 31st December 2014. Start with the sales, the unit sold 10,000 times sales price per unit, 30 ringgit, total of 300,000. Less cost of goods sold, COGS, start with the beginning inventory, and then plus with the cost of a goods manufacturer, where the unit produce 12,000 times 12 ringgit and 50 cent, the total product cost is derived unit product cost and total of 150,000. So it's a cost of good available for sale, 150,000. Less ending inventory, 2,000 is the difference between a unit produce 12,000 with the unit sold 10,000. The difference is the ending eventual unit 2000 times with the unit product cost 12,050 cents, so you get 25,000. So, 125,000 is the cost of goods sold. 
The gross profit derived from a sale 300,000 minus 125,000. So gross profit of 175,000. Less the administrative expenses. Fit and selling admin 3,000. Wearable selling and administrative. Where the wearable selling and administrative is selling an admin per unit cost 2 ringgit and 50 cent times the unit sold of 10,000. So you will get 25,000. Total for the administrative expense is 28,000. So therefore, the gross profit minus the administrative expense 28,000, you get 147,000. We look into the marginal costing as usual. You have to write the titles, Rajasim Marhat, Income Statement, Marginal Costing for the month ended 31 December 2014. Start with the sales, 200,000, less wearable cost, which is the wearable cost of goods sold. This is our beginning inventory, zero, plus cost of goods manufactured. 12,000 unit produce time cost of product unit 12 ringgit 144,000 cost of good available for sale is 144,000 less any inventory 2,000 times 12 ringgit 24,000 therefore you have the adjustment cost of goods sold by 120,000 you have to plus at wearable and selling administrative which is 25,000, which is a unit sold 10,000 times selling administrative per unit, 2 ringgit and 50 cents. Therefore, you have a total variable cost by 145,000. And then, sales minus total variable cost, do you get contribution margin 155,000? Contribution margin 155,000. We less a fixed cost and a fixed manufacturer of hit six thousand and selling administrative expenses three thousand total of nine thousand for the fixed cost and then you get the net profit of hundred and forty six thousand.